We both made a horrible mistake. Well, Ted's an idiot, and he ultimately is to blame for this situation, but I do like his wry sense of humor now. Does mean we can't try again? Try again? With all our friends laughing at me? Laughing at you? Yes. Well, that's your fault, because you were drunk Some as a... among the people we know, there's a man. Maybe men, I don't know. But from now on, I'll wonder which one. And how many of them are laughing at me? Well, couldn't I have said that the day you asked me to marry you? Supposing I had said, no, Ted, I'm afraid I may meet the women that you've known. And why not? I waited for you. You were my first love. But this is entirely oh, different. All right, then. But tonight I come back here, ready to humiliate myself, beg for your forgiveness, ready to forgive you anything because I love you. And you say that's different? You tell me your vanity is hurt? Well, call it anything you like. Vanity! I'll never forget that! Let's not talk any more about it. And I thought your heart was breaking like mine. But instead, you tell me your man's pride can't stand the gas. Now, wait a minute, Jerry. Listen. Oh, I don't want to listen. I'm glad I've discovered there's more than one man in the world while I'm young and they want me. Believe me, I'm not missing anything from now on. I don't doubt it. Once a woman throws down her fences... Oh, pin it on a motto and hang it where Janice can see it. Stop that. Oh, loose women, great, but not in the home, eh, Ted? Cut it, do you hear? <laughs> the looser they are, the more they get. The best in the world. No responsibility. Well, my dear, I'm going to find out how they do it. Oh, damn. The good, you know, the dialogue in this scene is pretty saucy. I want to go back like four or five lines here. Listen, I'm glad I've discovered there's more than one man in the world while I'm young and they want me. Believe me, I'm not missing anything from now on. I don't doubt it. Once a woman throws down her fences... Oh, hit it on a motto and hang it where Janice can see it. Stop that. Oh, loose women, great, but not in the home, eh, Ted? Cut it, do you hear? <laughs> the looser they are, the more they get. The best in the world, no responsibility. Well, my dear, I'm going to find out how they do it. So look for me in the future where the primroses grow. And pack your man's pride with the rest. And from now on, you're the only man in the world that my door is closed to. So, um, is that... Yeah. Suppose I'm out of the running. Council will prepare the decree. This decree is interlocutory and becomes final in three months. Congratulations, my darling, you're free. You're exactly as you were before you were married. Exactly. All I need is a complete set of young illusions and an innocent expression. Oh, cheer up. I had a very good time as an ex-wife. Why shouldn't you? All men are fair game. Yes, but I guess there's only one... Oh, nonsense. I'll show you a flock of them. Friends of Bill's. They're as rich as mud. In a year, you'll have forgotten the color of Ted's hair. Friends of Beale? I hope so. My dear, I know so. You'll have but plenty of time with them and their now naked on, bodies. I take all the hurdles, see all the scenery, and listen to the band play. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> Trying to figure out what sexual metaphor or listen to the band play might relate to. So the producer, um, Robert, what is it, Robert Z. Leonard, decided to now induce music related seizures in his audience. Got it. Nice hat. Ditto. Let's just appreciate that phrase, uh, that face from Mr. Morris. Um, I do think I have to feed Luca once again. This will be instantaneous for you, but I should be right back. And we are back. Let me back up slightly just so we can get the full Ted face again. Not the Ted talk, but the Ted face. <laughs> 